Jeremy McWilliams from Lewis and Clark College. Um, uh, we're a small liberal arts college and we're members of a big uh, academic library consortium in the Northwest called the Orbis Cascade Alliance. And uh, as part of this consortium, we have access to the Summit Catalog, which is uh, pretty nice. It's got nine million items in it and two-day delivery to all the libraries. But the problem is that uh, Summit Catalog is basically a plain vanilla 1990s OPEC supported by innovative inReach. Um, and so uh, we're actively working within the consortium to get on a next generation system. But until that happens, um, we've tried to do some things locally to kind of add some widgets to the, uh, the uh, Summit uh, bibliographic displays. Um, and uh, Jeremy's going to show you what those are. Um, basically, the technique we're using to do this is it's, it's kind of a lipstick on the pig hack type thing. Um, I apologize for that first, but what, what we're doing is we're proxying the catalog through Apache and using Apache's mod proxy to run the HTML through a PHP script, which then is used to add in um, various functionality, which, which Jeremy will show you. Uh, the, the functionality includes um, Google Maps that show uh, holdings. <laughs> <laughs> it includes. Um, hey! So um, we have some PHP scripts that will screen scrape for the bib number in our triple I record, which we can then use to open up the, um, the XML record of the, of the bib record. Um, and we take that metadata and then kind of have some fun with web services and links to, uh, to other sites like Workforce, uh, bibliographic reference uh, management system. And, uh, let's see if we can do this. Okay, so here, here's a look at what Summit looks like normally. It's a little on the vanilla side. <laughs> <laughs> and then here's our uh, Summit with the crack sperm. So we can in search inside the book with uh, links to Google Book Search, uh, book jacket images, the Google map of um, the owning sites, and links to Wikipedia. And the code name for the project is called Sherpa, because it's Summit Sherpa. Sherpa helps you get up to the summit. Oh. <laughs> Since we haven't tested it in a production environment, we're, we're a little concerned about speed, and um, Jeremy's thinking of using Ajax to try and um, sort of bring up the, uh, the extra services after people have pulled up the bib record on the screen. We're also using proxy caching, which will hopefully speed up the proxy inside of it. Okay, so there's the live look, and the W on the Google Mac there is for Watsik, which is our library, or Watsik library of Lucy Clark. Um, one of 
of the cool added services is we look up, we check in Wikipedia to see if there's an entry for the author of the book and the author of the And then um, another thing we thought about doing, we linked to book reviews and a few of our databases that we subscribe to. And another thing we thought of doing is actually um, Can you just leave that? making that Tomorrow. specific to um, the class number that the book was under, offering links to specific databases that fit that subject area uh, according to whatever the book's class number.